What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy JP Givener, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Shortcuts. I got a bad start. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to be going over four ways you can make the ending shortcut on Shy Guy Falls. We're going to go over two ways you can make it with a mushroom, as well as two ways you can make it shroomless. So, without further ado, let's start giving her, bud. We're going to start off with using a shroom because obviously that's the much easier way to do it and the more popular way to do it. However, it's also very important to know at least one of the methods for doing it shroomless, so we'll get into that at some point uh, or later in the video, but yeah. Here we go. So this is the fast method, but I don't normally do this online, but this is how it goes. Okay, I kind of messed that up. I'll do another attempt on lap two, but that's the general idea. You trick off of the ramp in the shortcut with a mini turbo, and you'll get a lot of boost. You'll get a big boost forward as a result because it's a mini turbo trick. And yeah, it's pretty freaking good. So I'll go over it one more time. Hopefully it'll be in a better way because uh, you do want to get that drift afterwards as well. So we'll do that. Okay, so here we go again with the fast method of the shroom cut. <laughs> well, that wasn't that great either. But the general idea here is that uh, you release your mini turbo and trick off the ramp. So the, the first one was definitely a lot better in that regard. But that is generally not the safest way to do it. And I'm going to get into the second way you can attempt the shortcut with a shroom right now. So with this one, it's obviously going to be quite a bit slower. Well, I shouldn't say quite a bit. It'll be a little bit slower, but obviously it's going to be much faster than taking it shroomless or going around, of course. This is how I usually do it online. So I drift into it, hold my drift, release an SMT afterwards, get another drift, and then release an SMT on the final straight. That is the one I always do online. For me right now, I'm not the most comfortable. Well, I actually got a new PB. <laughs> well, I'm not the most confident right now with doing the mini turbo trick as you could very clearly see but those are the two ways that you can or should do it with a mushroom and now we're going to get into the shroomless methods so let's start giving her bud okay so regarding the shroomless methods this first one i'm going to go over which is the super mini turbo method is one that you should be doing online if you're front running like this is actually very important to know because it's a very easy way to make the shroomless shortcut and it's, well, it's very safe as well. So let's do it. So you go down here, charge mini turbo, uh, soft drift, hold wide a bit, maybe hit the wall if you need to. And then there you go. Um, And here's the reason why you get a super mini turbo there. Because unlike that attempt right there, in some situations, you will not get that kind of air. And you will, if you were to get a mini turbo, then you would get screwed over as a result and you would fall off. So yeah, general idea here is that you want to get the SMT. So if you do hop and you uh, you don't hop super high and you actually like get in like the middle of the shortcut, then you won't get screwed over. So now we're gonna go over the mini turbo method, which I might fail here because it is a lot more risky, but let's see if I can do it. And there you go. Um, not the fastest way to do it as far as I know. Well, that was terrible. That was a terrible ending sequence. <laughs> yeah, not the fastest way to do it. However, uh, how I did it there was definitely the safest way to do it. You know, holding uh, holding to the left while drifting right and then hopping right before getting into the grass and then also hopping to the left. That'll give you the best chance of getting a lot of air. But there's also another method I like to go over, which uh, again might take me some time. But as far as I know, like if you get the hang of it, it is a much safer way to do it. So let's see if I can get it right here. Okay, I couldn't get it there. But the general idea here, and I'll show an attempt where I actually do get it. The general idea here is that you're able to actually hold your mini turbo while you're in the off-road for a tiny bit of time. And you'll be able to hold it long enough to the point where once you release it in the off-road, you'll be close enough to the ramp where you won't lose all of your speed and you'll still be able to nail that trick. Again, I'm not very good at this, but... I'm pretty sure this is a safer method, which is ironic because on my first attempt, I made what I feel like should be the harder method of the mini turbo shroomless first, and uh, I couldn't make a I couldn't make the quote unquote easier method first. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's all for preference. 
Guys, if you enjoyed this video or got something out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if there are any shortcuts or uh, any shortcuts with like different variations of them that you'd like me to go over. Because I have a couple in mind right now. For example, the Hyrule Circuit ending cut is one of them. As well as the various big blue gap shortcuts you can take. I just go over all of them. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas, maybe some shortcuts that I might not be thinking of off the top of my head or might just miss, then let me know in the comments because I can definitely go over them. And yeah, we'll just move forward from there. Anyways guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching, have yourselves a fantastic day, and keep on giving her, bud.